Salutations Proboscis2 here, and welcome to a new series of videos in which I carefully convey to you how to mod Pikmin 2 in various ways. Today we'll be starting off simple with modifying captain parameters. So, this, will, this whole uh, series of videos will assume that you're already familiar with how to use GameCube Rebuilder. If not, just look up how to mod any GameCube game ever. Enough said. So, first what we want to do is go to your Pikmin 2 root that you just extracted. This is an old one that I was using for something else, but this is a new one I just extracted. And you go into user, abe, picky, and navyparms.txt, which has all the parameters for the captains. So you'll see it's all in Japanese. So what you want to do is press the file, go to control, press control A, copy, and go to Google Translate and paste it in here so it'll translate it to English. It automatically detects it as Japanese, so that's good. And uh, I'm not sure what all of these do, um, but yeah. Display scale, is that like how big they are? I gotta try changing that, see uh, if it changes anything. Huh. Well, we've got movement speed. Uh, all this stuff, and uh, I'm not sure what cursor count does. Life is obviously the amount of health they have. I've changed that before. Yeah, uh, but we're, what we're going to change today is uh, the cursor. Uh, how far you can move your cursor to throw the Pikmin. So here it's set to 100, and the movement speed, which you should also change because it's very bad to control is set to 300, so we're going to multiply both of those by 3. So, we're going to change this to 300, and we're going to change this to 900. Oh, not 9,000, that would be too much. Too fast. And, uh, I suppose I could use double the health, so we're going to change that to 5,100. And, uh, what else? Well, got size. What about the d difference between size and display scale is? We'll change them both. Uh, so what is... Oh, calculator, get out of here. We'll do... Display scale, we'll set that to 2. Well, which one is it? It's... PO38. Ooh, right here. We're gonna set that to... No, let's set it to 3. And, uh... For... Size and ground size, we'll just set those to... 16 each. Where is that? Right here. Multiply it by two. And uh, one of these was how uh, made the whistle itself bigger, but I don't know if we want that because the game's already hard enough as it is to whistle certain Pikmin because they, when you dismiss them, they huddle up so close together. But huh. oh. Um, you can change how fast they are with dash boot speed, and uh, there's, well, here's the wide whistle radius. These are for upgrades. I'm just going to change these because I don't care about the default ones, although I, su I suppose you should actually change uh, one of the default ones if you're making a full hack, but for this I'm just going to change these ones. So, dash boot speed. I'm gonna make them a little slower, because they often outrun the Pikmin, so... We're gonna make it... 150. No, because 160 is the default one. Let's make it... 180. And... Is this the whistle radius? Yeah. So, we're gonna make this... Uh, 
190 and save and I'm going to rebuild the ISO root open libraries documents pikmin 2 root save as whatever yeah that's fine rebuild all right I'm gonna stop recording now and I'll see you over on the game <laughs> Here we are on the game, and let's see what I did. Well, it looks like Scythe didn't do anything, but as you can see, the cursor is moving much farther than it previous did, we did, and the whistle is much larger. Too, and this actually works. Uh, yeah. So I said it's the thing. I think they're the normal speed, too, the captains. Let's take out this one. There's ten pictures. That is how you uh, modify the captain's parameters. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time I do these videos, hopefully. Bye. Comical, comical, too economical, isn't it comical? Comical, comical, too economical, isn't it comical? <laughs>